GPS night when you can hard whisper and torture that much over it with a group of them in there and all the guys assertion of super fag when I basically you all know it blown to cheeks and they got it working and had it working for free for the most of you then anyway, all it is is a tattletale of fag story it's not worth it there are marriages I know that are supposed to happen there's a black and white they showed me it that existed Possibly I lived in it at one time. You guys just come through and grift and steal it. And when you offset it that much from those families and you escape that from that reality, well, the night, there's no returning to it even if you had a magic button to turn it back on. That's why what Bernard and them did out here multiple times in a row to me and that child and those people is fucking stupid as shit. So you can have all the proof you want with Bernard and have Judy Shepard debate it off and the Episcopal Churchman and Jim Hall build of all the King Morgans. But it's basically the group of you take it all over and you guys fully well know it does not belong to you. It belongs to more wealthy people or certain families that had it going. And then you guys say you did not touch his, his children or me and you guys ripped it all apart with Elton and all of them. It's funny how the three cults replaced to the three children. Isn't that strange? But then you guys come up with some bullshit story. Uh, the Antilla man who split it all up. One for Jumpdown, one for Brand Divisions, one for Haven's Gate. Oh, Jews, let's do the same thing here. Oh, Latinos, let's do the same thing here. I, it's funny how it just seems to always focus certain streets. Oh, look, Rosecrans moves in the same direction as Hampton. This is how we're going to find the story in the business. Oh, um, Arapahoe Road. Dave Balamorad, Littleton, go, um, Pearly to Jones Quinwall, um, let's see here, um, Lakewood, um, Iliff, um, Iliff Road. It's all until a Freeman, pretty much, and you, Bernardo the fact of the chance. You guys have got one of the, the dumbest fucking in competition with the FBI, and I can almost assure John Walsh. And then Red Randy of Ohio comes down with his bullshit story and then Baldy Negro they, to cover up a murder of that Joe who Bridges did. You guys are going to do this much. Go, go. We're the Negroes. We kept it cool. Blood scripts MS-13. Oh, another three to replace the children. But we have one. The fourth one that used to be the 80s. Nobody knows, but these ones do. You, Tom, you and your dad suck. Brian, you and your dad suck. Jewish Colonel Malcolm Gullen, what the fuck? Then Phil Kent's all jacked up too. Hmm. David Kent. And the Mustang paint disappears. It's all you, Bernard, and your obsessed ghetto fag style, dude. Jesus Christ, superstar, all American, just like the all American DJ in Ghetto Christ. Bernard, they're, they're, like I said, you, for your prison fag story and your defiance of those two men and trying to, um, you know, impersonate them, you're going to pay for the rest of your lives. Guaranteed. Because once they did that, I can almost assure you they went over there. And I'm not talking about Joe and all them and their bullshit. With the full exact thing. They went back over there and made another set and said basically fuck off forever. That's all you guys have ever done amongst those two cities after stripping out hers and my shit. So you can't I'm not sure she's probably over there down south. But Bernard, when you had a demand that you wed to her for the throne of Israel, you better hope she accepts because if she don't, dude, you're kind of Fucked, man.